we need to move on to what's happening tomorrow because uh, Punjab take on Lucknow. Uh, this is game 38 and it's happening at Mohali. Punjab uh, and Lucknow, the last time they played, Punjab just about inched into victory with Sikandar Raza's 50 and I think Shah Rukh got a 23. So, uh, he came in and he could have been a contender for the white cap because he got in 10, in 10 balls. <laughs> That's quick. Uh, I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plug it in now at every point. Uh, both of these teams coming in, Lucknow lost that game to Gujarat. Mm. Uh, 136 runs to chase. It was a game which, well, you thought was in their pocket, wasn't meant to be. And uh, Punjab, of course, a uh, painful game because they scored those 214 runs against Mumbai and then Arshti broke those middle stumps in the last over. What a side it was. Yeah, great win for Punjab. They, they, they played well, played really well and kept the nerve at the end, particularly Ashdeep who was oh, phenomenal. What was it four mm -hmm. for? Four mm -hmm. for two, two broken stumps. So he owes yeah. him, him a couple yeah. of stumps, but yeah, he, he was fantastic. It was a, a very important win on the back of them just stumbling a little bit, but I, I still feel they need Shikha Darwan back. I think when Shikha Darwan's mm -hmm. back, I think he just offers that kind of solidarity at the top of the order that he will probably play an old school role of just anchoring that innings mm -hmm. for all the firecrackers to come out there and strike in. Um, I, I still feel Liv Livingston's not got going. Uh, I think he will get going. Uh, and I'm looking at Rabada. Mm -hmm. If Rabad is fit, surely he has to play. So I think Shikhar should be in tomorrow because right. he seems to be doing all right. Uh, Jitesh and Prabhsimran did well for them in the last yeah. game. So hopefully Shikhar and Prabhsimran take uh, Punjab off to a good start. Mm, yeah, we, Shikhar's fit, Shikhar plays. Uh, no question about that. Uh, he's striking it all right actually this season. Uh, you wonder, and I'd probably toss this to you, um, Nick, to say you kind of have to sit out a bit and you were hitting it quite nicely. Is it easy enough to just pick up where you left off or, mm. or is it one of those where you're, you know, struggling to find the middle of the bat again? How do you, you know, especially in this format. I mean, he's that experience. You'd feel that if he gets a couple out the middle early, he'll be, mm. he'll be flying. It's, I think in T20 cricket, it's like Devon Conway this evening. Mm -hmm. it, it, it doesn't matter what form you've been in. On that given day, if you get a couple of dots, it, yeah, the pressure problem. builds and yeah. you start to panic problem, a little yeah. bit. I saw Harry Brook play the other night and... Yeah, he's a good same, player and he exactly was running the around the crease and he's back and I'm going, that's not the way you play, just stand still and hit the ball. Uh, so it just shows you in this tournament in particular, the IPL, the pressure builds mm. and when you get a dot and another dot, I can only imagine what these players are going through. But you know, Sam Curran played nicely in, in, the, in, in the last game yeah. and that, that was a, to go to the Wankady and win so well under that atmosphere with you know, pretty much everyone expecting you to lose, that was a, a big performance by Punjab without Shikha mm -hmm. Yeah, and and. What they've been looking for is a batting performance, you know. So, so what they've been trying to do is put together some sort of batting. You, you spoke about the game where Raza gets some runs. He, I think he's player of the match that match, and um, it's kind of he gets out before the end. Uh, he, I think he got fifty. I think he got fifty-seven in the end, and played really well. They got in a hole, and and it should never have got to that, right? And you just look at the team, and you think, oh. What's going on with this team? How come they don't know what their order is? How come they don't know who they want to? And they were waiting a long time to have Liam Livingston mm. fit and, mm. and ready to play. And I think the next game is when they drop Raza from player yes. of the match and they bring him in and he doesn't do anything. But a game later, they get it together and they get a win. And, and so, and you have to back what your decisions are. It's not ideal. I don't think it's ideal to be putting players, leaving players out who have form because you've got to kind of go with the form. But what makes it difficult is if you have a $2 million player who's yeah. sitting on the side, you can't have that, right? Uh, so you've got to play them, right? Yeah, I think if Shikha's fit, he plays, um, mm. you know, come in, I, I would think Rabada will come in for Matthew Short. Uh -huh. Short's not really fired. And I thought his opportunity was at the Wankady to really stab himself in the side. And he didn't get too many runs. So I would think Rabada would, would play Short. So obviously Sam Curran plays. Uh, Liam Livingston plays. Uh, how many overseas is that? That's three. And they could, they, I guess, they could play short depending on the pitch. But I don't think they will. I think they'll uh, they'll look to manoeuvre him out the side because he's just not fired for them at the top of the order. If you have to pick your four overseas players for tomorrow, who, who are they going to be for me? Um, Curran. Mm -hmm. Looking through the list, uh, Livingston will play. Um, Rabada will be the other. I think they might go short, but the reason I pick three is so that you can have the Seven option meter. of subbing one in. Mm. 
um, and if you, if you can go that route, so because Rabada, Curran, um, Ashdi, you're sort of happy with, with how that's going in terms. I guess of his, depends on the pitch. I mean, yeah, Nathan Ellis, if it's really dry with his slow balls, yeah, you know, they could use him. They could, um, yeah. No, they've got they've got enough there to to cause problems for most teams. Let's now have a look at Lucknow's team because uh, they had a lot to well go back to the drawing board and look at uh, that 136 run loss uh, would have hurt them and um, changes for tomorrow you feel oh, because know. you know Decock is has to be given a game you can't keep putting <laughs> yeah, Decock on and, the bench for so long and not whilst you keep messing games up like yeah. that so for all the talk of you know so and so is doing well and this and that and the other it all doesn't matter if you've got like really good players who are sitting outside and you're losing games that's a problem mm -hmm. their issue as far as i'm concerned is they're not going hard enough after the power play they're not going hard enough at it it's about strike rate they, they've got the players to be able to do it they bat deep enough it should be a case of you know hand breaks off away mm. we go and in that chase, you think about it, um, you don't want to just get over the line. You don't want to just get there yeah. in the 20th over. You don't. If you run into trouble when you're trying to get there in 14 overs, the rest will kind of sort it out. But they'll sort it out okay because you've gone hard enough in the power play, you've gone hard enough after that, and they have time to try and sort it out. Yeah, I'm sort of thinking about... Um, you know, Marcus Stoinis walking in and having to try mm. and smash mm. one first ball, when if you give him five yeah. balls, he probably does it, mm. right? So you, they're putting themselves in trouble too much and, and they've got a good enough squad. They should be, they should kind of be further up the table. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm interested to see how they bounce back because that game against Goodrat, they, they should have won. They yes. should have won easily, you know. And I, think, I mean, Rahul went ahead and said he couldn't put a finger on what went wrong because it all just happened so quickly. Yeah, and he so. played great in the power play. Yeah, you know, he'd been criticised for his slow nature in the power play. Well, actually, he came out of the traps and played uh, really aggressively, which was the idea. And actually, that's the DNA. You have to do that every single game. But you could see it coming. You could just mm. sense it when they lost a wicket and mm. then there was a few dots and then Noah Ahmed gets another wicket and Rashid was bowling great. And you thought that you, you could just sense the whole build up and then it was down to Kale down the back end and he couldn't get the boundaries away but uh, I'm always intrigued to see how a team reacts having lost a game that they know they should have. When you lose games that you just play badly, oh. you know from ball one to the last like you know, tonight this went on the races, they've lost lost to a better team but when you lose a game where 90% of the game you dominate, that hurts yep. and I'm always intrigued to see how teams react and it's you know getting to the stage where you know I think the three that we, we mentioned at the top of the table, I think and I, I just done good right. I think they're going to go. I mm. think they're going to be fine. It's going to be one place. So it's a big, big, uh, big, big game tomorrow night for Lucknow. All right, our predictions were not on point today, but uh, let's predict tomorrow's players to watch out for. So one from uh, each team. You all have to go. How about we go with Quentin de Kock? Yeah, if he's not on the bench. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, 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 I think he'll come in. I think uh -huh. he's, 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 he's too good. Yeah, and experience. things are going change, you know, change your team, change your combination. Perhaps things might change. Maybe mm -hmm. they go with him. I'm going to go the, the skipper back, Shikha Dawan. Uh -huh. I'm going to go with Shikha at the top of the order to get a few runs. <laughs>